in this video we are going to see how we can design an oscillator in LT spice the theory and basic of oscillator has already been covered in our previous videos the link of that videos will be given in the description box so let's get started first we need an op amp so click on the op amp uh, symbol here select the op amp and uh, i am taking op27 because this is commercially available and if you want to build the same circuit and breadboard you can easily find this op27 in any shop click skip to do not repeat the structure and then add plus v set and minus v set to voltage sources here for that go to the same symbol for back you can click double click here so it comes back now select voltage from here adding positive terminal to this voltage means making this plus v set and uh, adding negative voltage to this terminal means making this minus v set this v set is the saturation voltage which this op amp will never exceed now once these voltages are connected we need to place two resistors and these resistors are responsible for the gain we already have covered how to choose the value of these resistors so basically the uh, r2 divided by r1 as shown here should be equal to 29 for the detailed explanation of this you can refer the video which is there in the description box now connect three resistances something like this and three capacitance something like this for clear view you can click this icon adding ground pins everywhere and now making the connections so this is the wire you can choose it from there you can connect something like this you can connect on the first port and then second port so it gets automatically connected like this So we are done with making the connections something like this. This loop is called the feedback loop and uh, to satisfy Barkhausen criteria we choose this R1 and R2 such a way it gives gain of 29. So taking this 2k uh, means the, resist uh, the value of this resistor as 2 kilo ohm. So the second resistor the feedback resistor should have 58 kilo ohm value such a way the ratio of these two are 29 and uh, plus v set voltage 
for this op amp you can take any value for, uh, in between 4 to 5 so i am taking the center value which is plus 4.5 and here since the negative terminal is considered uh, connected it will work like minus 4.5 now these three circuits uh, the these three resistors and capacitors they decide the frequency of oscillation for that we have already seen that uh, the frequency of oscillation is something like 1 by 2 pi rc root under 2n here n is the number of element which we are connecting means number of inductors or i'm sorry number of uh, capacitors and resistors so we have three number of capacitors so that is why n is equal to 3 so the cutoff frequency formula becomes something like this now uh, uh, I am taking this resonance frequency f as 450 kilohertz and simplifying the expression for rc so rc comes something like 0 0.144 into 10 to the power minus 6 we can take any value of r and we can do the math we get a value of capacitor so uh, for that particular value of r we should put the obtained value of c from here so i am taking r is equal to 205 so that i get 0 0.7 nano here so the capacitor value is 0 0.7 nano farad and all the capacitors are identical so once the capacitor value is fixed you can put the value of capacitor there and you will get r is equal to 205 ohm so it becomes 205 ohm Now naming this terminal as output terminal so that uh, we can see the output voltage there. So for that click OK here in this palette and tick this pin. So it becomes the output port. Now we need to add the simulation setup. For that go to edit simulation command in which uh, time interval you want to see. So I want to see z uh, from 0 to 4 millisecond. I want to start the readings from 0 second itself and the interval should be 1 microsecond. Click that link here and now run this setup. When this, once this setup is run, we can click this V out and we will see that a oscillation is coming. You can see from uh, in first few seconds, uh, a few microseconds uh, till 130 or 140, there is no oscillation. But after that, you will see uh, there is a slowly increment in the amplitude and the amplitude uh, becomes stable something like this. So uh, up to this point. Uh, we have no uh, we do not have sustained op oscillation but after this point uh, this is showing a response of sustained oscillation we can calculate the frequency of this curve so for that select click on the v out you will get a marker and then drag that marker and place and on top of the curve something like this here you will see the frequency is coming around 4.238 kilohertz which is very close to the value which we are designing we were designing at 450 kilohertz and we are getting 430 the shift is probably because of the parasitics present in the op amp uh, this op amp is not ideal so there are some inductor and capacitors present and because of that there is a shift in frequency so I hope you have enjoyed the session. We will keep coming up with these type of videos. Please do suggest if you need any particular topic. We will definitely try to cover that. Thanks for watching.